back now with psychiatrist and Fox News contributor, Dr. Keith Ablo. You actually play one on TV, and you are one. <laughs> um, okay, so Keith, we're talking about these guys who went and they killed Marcus Luttrell's dog last week. And I have two places I want to go on this. You said, oh, well, they had a bad childhood, and it's always... And I get that. I really do. But where do you separate bad childhood from sucks to be you, huh? I mean, uh, they've got to pay the price. What happens? To, what should happen to these guys? Well, probably more, basically, than the judicial system would, would have happened. In other words, what are these guys looking at a couple of years? The bottom line is, if what I'm saying is correct, that they literally have no empathy for others, well then, there's got to be a much longer trajectory here, Glenn, in terms of trying to restore them to anything like people who we would consider to be safe on the streets. That means that they might have to have a longer period of time therapeutic time, perhaps, with in interventions to reconnect them with their feelings. It might also mean that they have lifetime parole or probation, lifetime, because they maybe should never drink or use drugs. Maybe they should be randomly tested forever, because you know what? Once somebody shoots a dog, it's not a two-year deal. It means that, and even if it was no fault of their own, it means that they're shattered. They're not like the rest of us. No fault and they of their need own. Help they forever, loaded maybe. the gun pointed it yes. and pulled the trigger. What about the guys who were in the car? There were, there were two guys that were in the car in the back seat. They're not being charged with anything. They're being called witnesses. Is there something to say for the people who were there? Should they not have said, I mean, these are over 18 of years course. old. Should they not have said, hey, 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 aren't there, isn't there something with those guys of as course. well? No question, buddy, uh, and, and they ought to be charged with something. I think legally that would trigger the opportunity to maybe deliver uh, uh, help to them in the, in the measures that we need it, maybe that kind of drug testing and the rest of it. But the bottom line is, guess what? Here's the questions I would have for them. You sat in the back of that car. You did nothing while a helpless being was destroyed. Now I need to know not just why you did that that night, but who treated you that way? Okay. Who wasn't standing up for you when you were helpless? Who let you be destroyed? Um, Keith, here's the... Um, Trust uh, me. It's, it's really true. You no, know, I, I know. I just, I'm so tired. You know what it is? I've always had sympathy because, I mean, look, I'm a recovering scumbag. I know. I mean, I never killed a dog or anything like that, but I mean, I'm a recovering scumbag myself. And, you know, every, but everybody has trauma. At some point, you make the decision to do it. Okay, I've got to run, but Keith, will you come back? Because I also want to talk about... The trauma that Marcus is going through on this. Absolutely. Okay, we'll do that coming I would be up. happy to, Glenn. All right, thank you. Uh, we'll talk to you again, my friend. Uh, final thoughts, next. Decisions, decisions.